Good morning. I am looking a little bit worse for wear today. So I'm just using these, I don't even know what these are called, metal ice things. These are from The Cure. The Cure is a Canadian brand, just to kind of wake me up a little bit and depuff my eyes before we get started on my photo shoot makeup. This was the makeup that I did for my new Heritage collection with True Curated. It's a jewelry collection. I had a lot of questions about the makeup, so I thought I would recreate it. And I'm gonna be filming today so I need to have good makeup for being on camera anyway. I had a bit of wine last night. I'm tired and quite honestly, I'm kind of going through it right now. The last month and a half have been really hard and I will share more when I'm ready and now is just not the time, but I had a bit of a meltdown yesterday. I just kind of wanted to be honest about that because I feel like it's so easy to feel like other people's lives are so perfect and they are not. Okay, I think that's as good as it's gonna get. Let's get started. First, I'm going in with some moisturizer and the deep bronzy sunshine drops from Drunk Elephant just to give my face some moisture and a little bit of life. This is the foundation I use whenever I have a photo shoot. This is the Luminous Silk by Giorgio Armani. And I'm gonna put one pump and mix it as well with the deep bronzy drops. It's slightly light for me. And I also just wanna like have a bit more life in my face. I like to apply with my hands and then use a brush to kind of make sure everything everything's in. This just has like a really beautiful coverage and it never looks fake or cakey and it's got a bit of like a satin finish so it's not like super glowy which is really good for photo shoots because then you don't have too much shine but your skin still looks like natural and dewy. This is the It Cosmetics. I forget what brush it is but I'll link it. Actually both of these last two products were in my best beauty products of 2023 video so I'll link that. And I always go in over my brows. I will never understand people who put foundation over their brows and then go over with a brow pencil. Then I'm going to go in with the Nude Sticks Nudies Matte Bondi Bell. I love this for kind of like a contour bronze and I put it pretty high up and I just use the same brush. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but it's what I do. And then I've been doing like a nose contour, but also bringing it up here lately. This is going to sound weird but I like the structure that it gives my face. I don't really do that much up here because my bangs are gonna be coming down like this. The only thing I'll really do is put some powder so that the makeup and like moisturizer doesn't make my bangs greasy. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with the Say blush. This is the Dew Blush in Spicy. And then you'll see that I actually layer a lot of blushes because I want like a blushy look and I just find that if you layer, it stays a lot better. I curl and apply mascara quite a few times so I'm gonna start that process just because it keeps my lashes curled and makes them look fuller and more open. This is the YSL Lash Clash Mascara. Say that five times fast. And it is also in my best beauty of 2023. It is so good. It made me change my mascara of like five years from the Pat McGrath fetish eyes, which I really like still. Like I've dabbled and I have other favorites. Like I love the MAC. I love the Watier mascara. Then I'm gonna go in with the NARS Under Eye Brightener. I think we're just gonna be looking like a little bit puffy today because I don't know what else I can do. <laughs> and then I'll go around my nose too because it gets a bit red. Then I'm gonna go in with this Chanel blush. This is the Blush Harmony in beige and coral kind of, and I put it a bit higher up. I did a really light shadow. So from this Makeup by Mario palette, it is this shade right here. And I just did like a really soft light amount. It's almost like a little bit of a cooler brown, which is not something that I normally go for, but I just felt like it worked for the shoot. So I literally just did like a light wash and then kind of did a little bit more throughout the crease for a little bit of definition and then a tiny bit underneath my eye. It almost like doesn't look like you have anything on. This is supposed to be very natural and like, oh, I just came in from the barn and 
and this is what I look like after riding a horse and being like fabulous. Isn't that always the vibe? So you'll see that my lashes are now like pretty straight. So we're gonna go in and do another curl. This jewelry collection has been a long time coming. Like we started talking about it in the spring and I think we started designing in the summer. Finalize end of August. And the collection actually looked pretty different. It had a completely different necklace. I had this one necklace in mind. We couldn't find the chain that I wanted. And so we decided to try and custom make it, which is really expensive and a lot of work. You know, Tori's a small business. It's a lot of money and time to take that risk. Unfortunately, the sample didn't end up coming out like we wanted and I wanted it to be chunkier than it was, but then I also wasn't comfortable with the price point if it was chunkier, cause it would have been like $3,000. So we ended up scrapping that and this is what we came back to. This is actually the clasp and it's supposed to sit in the front. And then it's this really cool, almost like a box chain, but a little bit paper clippy. I'm really, really happy with how it came out. It took us a long time to get there. And then I had some personal issues, some health issues. We were supposed to have this whole event. You know, all the jewelry gets made in India. And so there were some issues with mailing and shipping and oh my God. Anyways, we had the samples come in and I wasn't fully happy with the ring. This is what the rings look like. I'm so happy with them now. So it's been a bit of a time. So I'm glad that we're here now. <laughs> so then I'm gonna go in with a black liner just right here to give some definition, but where it doesn't look like I'm wearing any liner. I guess tight lining is the right word for that. I'm gonna brighten my under eyes up with some lighter concealer. This is the House Labs concealer, which I really like. It's a bit matte, so it's better for under eyes if you're not super, super dry. Then we'll do a final mascara coat. I think this is number three, mascara coat count, and then bottom. Then I'm gonna do some nude on my waterline. This is the Watier Waterproof Smoky Coal Velour in Nude. And I love that it's waterproof because I find that it stays really well. Just makes me look more alive and awake. Then I'm gonna go in with the Chanel blush. This is the Bomb Essentiel Multi-Use Stick in Rouge Frais. And I like this over top because it gives color and shine. I don't even use highlighter because I actually prefer something that looks more natural, kind of like glowy. And I'm gonna put some on my nose too. For lips, I'm using the Rouge Coco Flash in 174 Destination. So it's kind of like a sheer nudie brownie color. And then I also put this I'm just kind of in the middle. It's my lip combo. This is the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. And I like to brush them up to give them some shape and just to kind of lift my face. I'm just gonna kind of spot conceal on my chin. I don't wanna get my hair wet. And I'm gonna use the MAC Fix Plus Stay Over Alcohol Free Setting Spray. And I'll do that before I set with powder and then I'll actually do it after as well. Okay, the last step is powder. This is the Givenchy Prism Libre and I've lost my sponge so I'm just gonna use a brush. I just put it under my eyes. Not here though because I want that glow there around my mouth and my chin and a little bit on the sides of my nose just so it doesn't get too oily. I put powder all over my forehead because of my bangs so that they don't get too greasy from the products. And then I also did some freckles. I actually have a freckle pen just from Freck but I've misplaced it. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Cheat in Soft Brown. It's got a really small tip. So there's actually a brow pen that I've been wanting to try from this influencer. I think it's called the Berry Brow Pen and the tip looks really cool and like it would do a really good natural job. Okay, and that is the final Look, I will insert some photos here from the photo shoot so you can see what the makeup looks like on camera and you can see the whole vibe of the shoot. It was very kind of like 90s vintage, Ralph Lauren inspired, a little bit like East Coast conservative. We had horses in the shoot. It was amazing and it turned out better than I dreamed, which is crazy because I have really high standards. <laughs> the whole Heritage collection is available now and it will sell out 
out quickly. It has limited quantities. So if you're wanting to grab a piece, I would say do it sooner than later. The whole collection is solid 10 karat gold. So you can wear it all the time. Like I don't take mine off because otherwise I can't do like eight earrings in and out every day and the necklace. And sometimes I'll take off the rings, but like I shower in them, I go swimming in them. It's the best. Like I have been wearing Tori's jewelry for years and the quality is amazing. So I'm really proud of that. And I'm really, really proud of this collection. Thanks for watching. I will link everything below. I will have all of the products listed. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of the photos and the collection and I'll see you soon. Happy New Year.